Hey everyone, it's Amy, owner and curator of Yo So Boho. Welcome to my channel. If you are a friend returning to hang out, hello, I love you. Thanks for coming back to hang out. I want to start off my video um, first by just saying I'm sending mad love to my friend Yvonne from Yvonne Thrifty Rich. Sending all my love and all the good energy your way as you are coping in this next um, chapter. And that's all I just wanted to say that before I move on. Um, love you, Yvonne. This week is an amazing, amazing week. Uh, so I teased about it last week. Um, I'm normally three to four weeks behind on my videos. That way I don't have to depend on going out and sourcing on a week to week basis and hoping to get the right content to share with you guys. Um, if I have like three weeks back, I can decide if something isn't, you know, newsworthy or if something um, is more than newsworthy, which in this case it is. Um, I can be flexible and I can move some stuff around. So that's the case this week because this just happened, not this past Thursday, but the Thursday before. So literally within a week and a half of when you're seeing this, the Garfield Heights Goodwill, they had their grand opening on Friday the 19th and they put out a social media like notification and they invited people to react to their social media post about it by commenting, by tagging somebody, by sharing it. And that would get you an entry into the possibility of winning a pre-shop where you would get to go the day before the grand opening on the 18th and shop for two hours with just a handful of other winners. Um, we were so excited about this. <laughs> so of course I entered, my aunt entered, anybody that we knew that we could tag, we were like, oh please, <laughs> you know. We didn't win. But my aunt's best friend, Sandy, won. And she gifted that to my aunt and my aunt chose to take me as her plus one. So thank you, Aunt Beth. Um, what a dream, my gosh. And the crazy thing is, I was meant to go because the morning of, I also received a notification from somebody at that Goodwill um, who was running that. Um, they said they had a couple of cancellations. So people who won that couldn't be there and they invited me to go, but I was already going. <laughs> so um, I really was meant to be there and that's incredible. And then when I showed up and then when I shared that I had a YouTube channel and I asked permission to film, they were like, please, please go ahead. So I'm going to tag them in this video. And um, if anybody in the area does not know, if you've been living under a rock and you don't know that the Garfield Heights Goodwill is open, well, maybe you'll see this and you will go. And it's incredible. Um, you'll get to see here in a second. <laughs> um, we were so privileged to do this and um, I can't thank Sandy enough. In fact, Sandy sells Tupperware. Um, I will show you here a picture of the latest vintage Repop Tupperware. It's incredible. If you have any interest in ordering Tupperware anytime soon, I will include her sales link down in the information box below and you can go and find uh, Sandy and uh, whatever your Tupperware needs are currently. Okay, Whew. are you ready? Let's go. Let's go check out the pre-grand opening to the grand opening of the Garfield Heights Goodwill. Let's go. They're opening soon, but we got a special invite. So, I'm back. <laughs> I apologize for the weird voiceover, but I got a copyright strike. <laughs> That's also why the video is late. We are just walking in. I got a goodie bag. I'm grabbing a cart. And then I'm gonna join my aunt who is already taking a look at some of the clothes. They have a lot of clothes in this location. Look at them all. This place is a big store and the whole back portion is all her goods. Yeah, lots and lots and lots of clothes. And then they have the tops full of shoes. You know we're heading to the hard goods. We're hoping they put out some treasures. <laughs> right? You wanna 
Like what? A lidded smiley face mug? Yeah. So we'll have to see what the prices are over here because who knows? Is that a... What is that? Look like a fairy lamp. What is this? It's just a decorative piece. I thought for a second it was a fairy lamp, but... <laughs> I guess it's just it's a, a hole in the top. decorative piece. And this big glass apple. Beth spotted that from across the... 88 cents. 88 cents? Yeah, I think you need to take that. Look at these cute guys. They're modern, made to look old. And a painted... Ooh, that one's got a match. Look. Those are pretty. They are. I feel like I have a set of these. They're not painted, though. Oh, you guys. This is so exciting. <gasps> what is this? This is adorable. Two eleven. So that cute guy is going in the cart. With the flowers all around. Yeah. And there's two here. And two here. here. Oh, look at this cute guy. Are. That's cute. A dollar thirty-three. Oh my gosh. I love these tins. I have had tremendous luck selling them on eBay, especially ones that are lidded and have the little knobs. They do really well for me. This is in amazing condition. A lot of these that I've seen online did not have the stamped or the raised here. Like you could see in the inside that it was just flat. Um, this does, which is beautiful. Might have to peek under the sticker to see where it's stamped, but I believe it says made in Holland. Yes, it says container made in Holland. It was a whole dollar 33 cents. Now. We were like freaking out about the prices because the prices were spot on most of the time. Um, sometimes lower than we expected when we flipped it over and sometimes a little bit higher. But for the majority of things that we looked at, we were like, yeah, that's a good price. So good job, Garfield Heights. And this was just the beginning of it. What do you see? You see a big blown glass piece? Oh, it's super light. Oh, it's not that light. Yeah. There's a big blown glass oh, purse yeah. back there, too. They're going to have to, like, re-merchandise uh, when we leave. What? What? What is this? Oh, my God. Guys, we haven't even passed the first <laughs> freaking... This is like a 70s decanter for $1.33. Look at that, look at that stopper. Look at, look, look. I see that. Look how far. For $1.33. For that, oh my God. I think you could see how excited I was when I saw this up there on the corner. I was like, what, what, wait. <laughs> this is a beautiful, made in Italy, geometric, 1960s decanter. And holy moly, look at that. Um, yeah, I could have gone away from this place happy with this because what an amazing find. It is in beautiful shape. It has its stopper, which we all know a lot of these got broken or lost somewhere along the way. So it needs a good bath, needs a good clean out, but it is in wonderful condition and these will sell between 80 and 100 dollars i think the last one i found was 95. um of course i'm sharing that information here but uh, i knew when i saw it that it was special because look at the shape it is super designer and i love it and i was so jazzed to find it um this is only the second thing we're only on the first end cap we even spent more time here okay let's go back and take a look <laughs> Well, I need two hands. No, you, oh, wow. Yeah. Oh, wow. Okay, it's coming to you. Okay. Wow. It's a big bag. Oh, wow. <laughs> 3188. Yeah. This is awful sloppy from Murano, though. It's probably a, a China-made piece. Is this a big looking glass? Oh, my gosh. What would you do with that? What would you do with that? It hangs. What is that for? Does it hang or does it... Look at. Can you just set it? Like that, that is neat, isn't it? Like at an angle here. Yeah, you don't want it. I don't know. You're gonna take it. I don't know. <laughs> we're 
literally on the first end cap. Like I'm looking over there and I'm seeing such packed shelves. Oh my God, I'm just gonna put this in my cart for now and we can talk about it later. So that the crowds don't take it. Yeah. Look at how cute. Spring Dang. by who's? Are there more of those? 1987. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. It's a big glass float. Look, it's a big glass float. Oh my gosh. 566. Really? Yes. It's new. It's not like an old one. Even so. Even so. It's glass. Yes, it is. <laughs> what is that? One. Get it, grab it. <laughs> <laughs> what is this? Look at another glass piece. That's a thin piece. Oh my gosh, there's some nice brass candlesticks down there too. It's a smaller one. 333. Oh my gosh. You're gonna put it with mine? Yeah, you gotta have the pair. Holy balls. <laughs> um I was so amazed when I looked down and saw this, and then um out of the corner of my eye, I kind of spotted this, but my aunt also spotted it, so she grabbed it, but she put it in my cart. Um for y'all that don't know, we kind of have a like non-verbal agreement for dibs. So <laughs> If one of us mentioned something, and you saw that here at the very beginning, we walked down the aisle, she had mentioned the lidded smiley um, mug. Um, as soon as like we see something, if we mention it, one or the other will step out of the way. It's kind of like, no, you saw that first. Um, it's just out of respect for you know shopping together because our eyes are going different places, and I'm never gonna like reach for something that she had already spotted. So. Um, it was super cool that she decided that I needed it to go with my bigger brother. <laughs> these are decorative floats. So these were like a real thing. Um, I believe they're still used and I believe their origin is Japanese. And if you can get an antique one of these, they're worth a lot more money than these are. These are, like I said, just decorative, but they are glass. They're big blown glass floats and they're really cool looking. And even though these are decorative and not old, um, they still have some value. And they were priced really nicely. This one was priced at 566. This one was priced at 333. They will probably go over to the shop and hang because I do not want to ship this. <laughs> this big hollow thing, that's a scary, scary thought. Um, so I'm guessing I'm going to hang them or display them over maybe in my whimsical booth at the shop. And, uh, I will share the prices here, of course, but how awesome is that? That would be so cool if you could put a light in them. You actually can put a light in these. They're open at the top. So you could wire in and hang a bulb from there. That would look beautiful. Somebody should do that. They may re regret Hi, bringing us in. Hello, hello. hello. <laughs> Literally, we were like one of the first people to walk in the door. This is Odagiri. Look at that That's cutie. cute. A little boat and a little puppy dog. Plays over the rainbow for $2. Oh my gosh. Um, we're gonna need another cart. I did see when I got this home that it is repaired. So there's a little crack in the foot and there's a little crack in the foot there. So somebody had to glue him right back on there. I'm saying him because it was shown as a boy with sailboat. Although I love this little yellow frock that he's wearing. He's rocking it. Um, but yeah, cute with the dog and everything. Totally adorable. Made by Odagiri. Looks like if this was in great condition, it would have been worth a little bit of money. I paid $2.11. I think it's going to go over to the shop with an as is. Um, I will point out the damage and um, somebody's going to love it. Is that a doink right here? Nope. Looks like it's, well, might be. That looks like I think he, it's in the glass. He might be Brazil. 
Nope. He's hollow. He's hollow. Like some people I know. Thanks. I wasn't talking about you. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't say shallow. This. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Oh. 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 Is it undamaged? Oh my god, y'all. This this is Murano right here. Is it signed? Would we be that lucky? Oh my god. It's not. It's not signed. I don't care. Does it got damaged? Little, a few little. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. But for a dollar thirty-three? Yeah. I mean, how could you not? Somebody will buy it at the shop, I'm thinking. It's not signed. That's okay. It also has some minor kind of flea bites around the edges. Um, yeah, it's not perfect. I wonder if I can do a little bit of filing to smooth these out because they're right along the edge. It's an ashtray. All of these are. That's what those little indentations are. You could probably fit a cigar in there. It's pretty big, but... Absolutely beautiful. We'll probably go over to the shop with an as is on it. I paid $1.33, so somebody's gonna get a great deal. Look at this pretty set of coasters with the little lion's feet. Who made you? Your bottom looks cheap. <laughs> yeah. Take that out of context. <laughs> Take that out of context. Your bottom looks cheap. There's another elephant here. He's cute too. Oh my gosh, there's so much stuff. I'm gonna have to tell my new friend, Ellen, Glamour Ellen. She's gonna be coming over here. Look at this candle. Is it a snowblower? Yeah, yeah. But I think it lights up. What's that lantern next to it? Is that water in there? It's a plastic. Oh. Look at this, all the pinks and reds. All the pinks and reds. See a little decorative piece here. She's got some marring on her face. They have another. This one was Marshall's 1088. It was $12 to start. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Got some furniture in here. That's a very, very lightweight, galvanized. That's cute. These are cute. These are really cute. Look at this. Oh, they're super heavyweight too. Like extra seating, garden seating. Yeah, those are nice. And a folding table. That's a cool garbage can. Ooh, the cane in it. It's kind of beat up. What did you find? I found all oh my gosh. That her original receipt is in there. That's Snow White. That's what that's the... Snow, that's an Ashton Drake Snow White right there. That's what this says. All right. I just looked at her face and I right. wasn't sure. I know some Ashton Drake can be good, especially if it's in like a set. I know. You know how I feel about dolls. Let's see if she actually, see, she looks like Snow White. That's because you are you were raised on Disney Snow White. Oh, there's another she Snow never White came other out of than. The box. No, she hasn't. And then Angela's underneath her. That seems like a haunted name. Ooh, look! Oh my gosh. A whole bundle of peacock feathers. Yeah, we're getting those for $2. Ooh, look at her. Ooh. She's a good find. I could, or I could just use her. <laughs> it's in David's cookies box. There's a snowman cookie, two-piece 
carving set. Lazy Boy, I didn't know Lazy Boy made knives. This is all precarious in here. Hey, need some butt paste? Wait, there's butt bath too. Ooh, there's more butt paste. Helps prevent and treat rash. It has a pleasant scent. Goes on and comes off clean. There's no price on the butt paste. Sorry, you're not getting butt paste. There's no prices on this at all. I see something Harry Potter back here. Winged out cane strap. Uh, golden snitch watch necklace. There's a couple back here. There's three. One dollar each. Wow, oh, that seems like a no-brainer. These are made in the UK, so I knew when I saw them um, on eBay that that was a good thing because in order to get them, most of them have to be shipped from the UK. So the price is, you know, kind of high with the cost of the item plus the shipping. Um, I will share here, of course. I took this one because the other ones had obviously been opened and they were no longer like contained inside um, the case. So the wings weren't held like that. So I just grabbed the one for $1.11. It looks like I will be able to list this on eBay and this is about what I can expect to get for it. Okay, I just pulled out of there. There's a really cool plastic box, but I pulled out this box. Look at the color on this. Isn't this wonderful? Um, and it says art box supplies for $4.33. I mean, hello, doesn't that just say my name right there? I am building quite a wonderful collection of steel boxes like this. I recently got a gold one. I have a green one over here. <laughs> I love that they are, you know, good for storage. This one is already full of some art supplies. Um, I don't know that I need any of these art supplies, but it said art supplies. <laughs> so I immediately was like, hmm, that sounds like my kind of box. I may be able to use some of these. If not, I can donate them. Definitely make use of the acrylics and maybe some of the pencils. It's just Mark Sears. I believe this was like pre-Craftsman. So most of the boxes that look like this now, when I see them online, they have Craftsman like printed on them. But this was just printed with a Sears label like that. And it's in really wonderful condition. Mom found a box like this that was in not so great condition. And I'll share it here and what the price was. I don't think I'm gonna part with this though. I think that I'm going to have a nice little stack of different colored steel boxes and I'm gonna keep them for organization. And maybe this one could even travel with me over to the shop because I'm always needing like um, tape and markers and um, you know, hangers for the wall and whatnot. So this might become my little toolbox for the antique booth. My aunt has one, I should have one too. <laughs> are over in the art section and I'm seeing a lot of frames over here. Um, somebody's little homemade piece there. I don't see a ton of art. That is not a real one there. I see some older frames here. Aww. Somebody got a happy Mother's Day. Kitty cat. That's kind of cool, although it's newer. I like the style of that. <laughs> Look at those cats. That's funny. Oh my gosh. Robert Wilkins, you're missing your caricature, your golf caricature. This is a little bit hard to get into these. So I'm going to put the camera down and take a look at what's all in behind here. Oh, what's this? It's like a card frame. The bamboo room. The bamboo room. That looks awesome, right? Love that old art. Somebody may have just printed it off new, but it looks like it might be old. Frame's not too old. $2, yeah, we'll grab that. It looks vintage, I don't think it is. It needs dusted, I can see all the dust that's settled into here. Um, it's probably like a repop postcard, but I have a ton of postcards that would look good in there actually. <laughs> this looks good in there though. It'll probably go to the boho booth, or if somebody out there needs it, you'll let me know. But it's such a nice piece. It's very well done. This guy, that is kind of a cool frame, but he needs to go over with his buddy. 
There we go. All right. I'm still looking at the frames here, but then I glanced over and I saw this thing that somebody made and it looks really cool. Um, it needs some work. It's got a few loose strings, but um, I might be up to that challenge. $4.66. Honestly gonna run out of uh, juice in my camera because I just, I keep it on and look at this cute guy. Oh, he looks like he's made to be old. Yeah, he's a repop. Cool look though. 333. Um, he might sell in the shop for 15 or 20. He's very neat looking. You guys, look at my cart. It's a little insane. We're gonna have to narrow down, I think. Not for educational purposes, just for decoration. It's a neat looking piece. Definitely has like a throwback vintage look to it, although it's probably only a couple years old. I know that this is something that will sell over at the shop. I don't know if this is at a discount store, but it was originally priced uh, $14.99. I think I can expect at least that over at the shop. I'll probably put something between $15 and $20 on it. And I paid $3.33. But yeah, I got distracted by this row. All the wood stuff, look at these. Oh my gosh. Look at, there's four of them. I need to look these up. There is also a battery pack in back. So something in here lights up. I think I saw lights up in the top of here. I know I saw them kind of back in here, a couple of them. Look at that little scene. It looks like there's maybe Santa up top with a little sleigh. And then this family down here and this little fireplace. I wonder if there's a light that comes out of the fireplace. I bet there is. We definitely um, grabbed a couple of these and they're just super cool. If I find out what these are, I will add to the screen what I think they're worth. I'm guessing they're probably going to go over to the shop for the holidays, which is soon. I'm actually pricing stuff right now to take over to the shop and we are getting a third booth <laughs> just for the holidays because we have so much holiday stuff. So we have rented um, and secured a third booth just that we can fill full of holiday stuff. So these will go over there um, in with our holiday things. Okay guys, so I am trying to reserve my camera for good stuff because um, I'm losing, I'm like running out of juice. First of all, these. So we picked up, what? Did you get one of these and I got two? Nope, I didn't get any. No, you're getting one at least. <laughs> I, I pulled out three. We got oh, three, okay. so yeah. But they have a bunch of them here, but we found the ones that were kind of like the least bit of damage. This one is still really great. Um, it has a little bit of damage here, but somebody is gonna love that. Um, some of the little characters are missing, but they're so cute. And then I just found this and I love this. I don't know anything about it. It has a hole right there, which I don't know. Did that hold some sort of sale or is it an incense? type of thing. I don't know yet, but we're going to find out. Just love the shape of it. I may have to bug my friend Mary because I think she's Viking. <laughs> and I'm pretty sure that this is a Viking shape, like a Viking vessel of some kind. I don't know if this was meant to hold some sort of mast or maybe an incense. I burned quite a bit of incense. So let me see how that looks. No, it's not really deep enough to hold an incense stick. I mean, it would work, but normally my incense holders have, you know, some sort of channel that it will, it will fall in. I think this is just going to kind of fall everywhere, especially since it's off center like that. So I'm guessing something's missing here. Maybe it was just a small dowel with some sort of mast, but Mary, Viking Mary, <laughs> or Becky, Viking Becky, somebody who has some knowledge. Look at how beautiful this is. It's hand carved. It's got some detail in here and here, and then it has this tail. And yeah, I have no idea, but I imagine it would just be cool just to put on a shelf as is. Maybe something could go on top of here. Maybe a cool piece of pottery or a figure of some kind, um, but it's neat. And I grabbed it and I paid $2.33. So if anybody knows anything about it, you'll let me know doesn't have anything under the sticker. Let me know. Okay, guys, 
that is where I'm going to have to cut it right here. This was a lot and there's so much more. So in Thursday's episode of uh, The Goodwill of Garfield Heights, um, part two, we will show you first a trunk haul that my aunt does because we had to kind of split up after we were down to like, you know, less than an hour, we had to go our separate ways and we had to just kind of like find um, and buy because it was like a crazy um, rush to the end. We did not get through the entire store. We didn't even make it through the hard goods. There was just so much on the shelves and you wanted to see everything. Um, I found amazing glass. I found a piece of pottery that's probably my favorite piece of pottery that I have found at least this year. Um, oh my gosh. I should give you a sneak peek. Maybe just the pottery. I'll show you just the pottery. But you're gonna have to come back for the rest because the glass is amazing. Just a sneak peek. Ah! Okay, that's all you get. <laughs> On Thursday, you will see all of it. I will share with you the rest of my haul the trunk haul and I'll show you how we kind of checked out. It was so much fun. Um, so that's it for today. I will meet you back here on Thursday and we will jump right back into this so you can see the rest of the stuff that I got. It's so exciting. All right, everybody. Thank you so much for coming. I will see you on Thursday. Please take care until then. Bye.